1225 Capistrano Avenue. Gonna go ahead and do a quick uh, digital inspection here. Uh, we do have really good intake ventilation. Those are those uh, little screened off vents that we see underneath the eaves. I've gone around the house looking for any rotten wood. Uh, the eaves are typically made up of the fascia, rafter tails, and then the starter board. Uh, it's not starter board. In this situation, it's actually just uh, plywood that's up there in the eaves. Um, there's probably the worst piece of fascia that I've found on the whole house. So the mo for the most part, the wood looks really good on this home. Uh, let's go ahead and jump up here and take a look at what we see. So we've got a three tab asphalt shingle and uh, this is the what north north facing or yeah. Uh, pretty much perfectly north and so it gets the least amount of sun damage and so this um, roof plane actually looks to be in really good condition if we lift these shingles we can see that there is at least one additional layer underneath this um, top layer but uh, we call that an overlay when you put new shingles over old and there is a professional way to do it and that is the way these guys did it all of the uh, flashings were replaced and new flashings were um, were added uh, that's a great sign that they actually took a little bit more time and attention and and money because um, everything around this roof is properly flashed so when we're assessing um, an asphalt shingle roof um, three tab is typically old-fashioned so most three tabs roo roofs are really badly worn um, this three tab roof appears to have majority of the granules still intact and there's not a lot of wear and tear showing on this north facing roof plane when we come over to the so i'm pleasantly surprised with condition on this side we come over here to the south facing roof plane and we start to see a little bit of wear and tear a little bit of granule loss and some of that fiberglass showing through it's very normal to have um, some extra wear and tear around the solar install because you had to have a crew up here walking around installing this nice big solar system now um, i will compliment the solar installers they did a fine job um, a professional job on this solar install that little thing right there is called the solar deck that's where the wiring goes into the attic and then over to the electrical panel um, it's a clean layout um, i haven't found any uh, major issues created by the um, solar installers over here we've got some satellite dishes that have been removed in the past and uh, those are going to create problems you know slow slow problems over the future one missing shingle there, not a big deal. Um, down near the edges of the roof, you can kind of see that the condition of those shingles is, is very close to what it is on the north side. And then everywhere around the, the solar, you can see that there is just um, kind of wear and tear from foot traffic, unfortunately. And uh, it is very typical. Um, the older these shingles get, the faster the granules come off. Um, so I would not put any blame from this leak onto the solar installation. Um, we get a good view over here of a little extra detail that takes just a few extra seconds on each um, standoff. But uh, to trim the shingle like that, and then the the standoff, the flashing of the standoff tucks up higher into the shingle. That's that's a nice little detail. Um, and so I got to hand it to them. This this definitely looks professional. Now. I probably, if I was installing on this roof, I would have required that a repair was done around this chimney because unfortunately this is just wrong um, and, and needs to be pulled apart and, and completely redone. Um, I would have required it because uh, of course um, the next leak after a solar install is, is usually thought to be the solar install. But uh, this chimney is just relying on that mastic to waterproof and uh, that's always a temporary solution to get you through you know maybe one rainy season so we'll peel up the shingles we got to cut into the stucco um, what's called the counter flashing and then saddle metal step flashing um, and then roof the wall down at the bottom and with proper flashing and pulling up an area we shouldn't have to move any panels you know we'll get another this roof should should have up up to you know 10 years of, of usable life still in it.